Six weeks ago, I tried to eat and burn 10,000 calories in a single day. That's good. Ah, ah. A challenge made famous by the likes of Will Tennyson, who has twice failed to burn enough. I just ran out of time. I easily burnt enough, but bizarrely failed to eat enough because my body went into systemic shock with one hour and half an Easter egg to go. Wow, it's quite a day. Once I recovered from what was almost my last supper, my wife told me how embarrassing the whole thing was because the eating part should have been easy. I said, you have no idea at all what it is like to try and get simply that much into your mouth. She said, no, but whose fault's that? Yeah, that's not funny. We're now back on speaking terms and a battle between us will commence in one hour's time. I'd say don't try this at home, but I said systemic shock 20 seconds into this video, so I'll assume I don't need to. So Jen thinks eating 10,000 calories is simple. I've explained it is not, especially not for her. I said I could probably burn 10,000 before she could eat 10,000. She said, rubbish. I said, let's find out. So the next 24 hours, we are going to. 10,000 calories, can I burn them off before she stuffs them away? So Jen is attacking this straight out the gate at midnight with Cocoa Pops, but already it's, it's a disaster waiting to happen. Hold it next to your head. It's a bowl half the size of her head. Why are you eating it with a teaspoon? Jen's eating it with a teaspoon because she doesn't like big things in her mouth. Literally what you just said. I'm just saying every work cut out if you're gonna nibble away at it like that. This is gonna be a walk in the park for me. I'm gonna get up at 9 a.m. and I'll, I'll have this in the bag by mid-afternoon. So a slight change of plan, Jen went through the Cocoa Pops last night like a hungry hippo and then came to bed mumbling about looking forward to some donuts later. So I'm just going to make sure that I catch her up before she wakes up, going to go out on the bike. Uh, the good news for me is that burning calories it includes the ones burnt just staying alive. So the Garmin already has me on nearly 400. I burn about 100 an hour just ticking over. A few weeks ago, I cycled across the country with zero mechanical problems. I've literally got to the end of my street and the chain has come off the bike and I can't get it back on. Nailed it. Right, after that rather bumpy start, all is going well. Uh, the plan this morning was to do about an hour and a half, thousand calories because of that delay. I don't think we're going to get the thousand. Um, Anything around 800 will do though. So one of the reasons I started off on the bike today is because I can remember from last time just how much fun it was. Being out this time in the morning, no one around. It's like being in a Disney movie with animals bouncing around all over the place. Absolutely beautiful. Sun's coming up in the distance. Uh, just had a couple of gels for breakfast, uh, which doesn't sound very appealing, but actually one of the problems I had on this challenge last time was that all that junk food was just rubbish to train on, I just felt ill. So today I can eat exactly what I need to get the job done. We're gonna be on just over 800 calories, I think, um, which will put me way over a thousand total, which means Jen will start breakfast nicely behind. Uh, although I'm gonna make absolutely sure of that next. Okay, straight back out, because I wanna be on about 2000 calories by the time Jen wakes up. And to achieve that, I've got a plan. I'm going swimming. And I know if you watched the last video, you might be thinking, I didn't think you like swimming. I hate it. So somebody commenting on the old video told me I should get these form goggles. They have a head up display built into the lens. Tells me how many laps I've done, how far I've gone, how long I've been swimming. It is gonna transform the aquatic experience apparently and actually make swimming really quite cool. 12 minutes. I mean, the goggles help for about three minutes and it's just swimming again. I get why you need to be able to swim. Health and safety, if you fall in a river, I understand. But to voluntarily do it, why? Right, Jen is up and having breakfast. How many calories in each one? 169. 169 calories times six. 1,014. Plus your Cocoa Pops puts you on like 1,600 or something. The rules today are simple. The first to 10,000 wins. If the person eating throws up, I win. 
if we get to midnight and nobody has reached 10,000, the person in the lead wins. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, um, sometimes when this challenge is done, people have a rule about not being allowed to drink your calories, uh, protein shakes and, and stuff like that. We're not bothering with that rule. Uh, Jen is no fan of glugging down thick liquids anyway, so it's just a bit irrelevant. Really? What? Really? You hate, you hate, you hate protein shakes. High protein shakes. Jeffy can't believe that you've rattled your way through six of those and he didn't get a single crumb. The dogs are highly disappointed. Just gone 9 a.m. and on the way to the running track. Uh, Jen's coming because... <laughs> Jen's coming because um, there's a KFC near the track and she needs the calories because I'm creeping back into the lead uh, because I'm allowed to include my uh, resting calories I'm, I'm burning them just by doing nothing even between my exercise sessions actually at the moment I'm, I'm rattling through those calories because the level of, of stress and tension my body is going through is, uh, is on a par with a CrossFit workout right now so when I did my last challenge video, I said I wanted to leave running until later in the day. Uh, the problem I have, because my weight and my size, if I'm running on the road, um, it, it, it's just too hard on my joints in a way that it isn't quite so bad for someone like Jenna. Her body is just far better at taking a hard pounding than mine is. But I think here on the track, a bit spongy, I'm going to get away with it. Jen's trying to uh, walk off her breakfast. So I've been looking forward to this session. I'm in the very early stages of a 30 days to a fast mile training program. Downloaded an app. This is the first proper track session on that program. 2K warm up, so five laps, and then six 800 meter intervals, 2K warm down. 800 meters on the way down here didn't sound like a lot, but having just jogged around a few times now, Two laps going fast. Sounds like quite a lot. It's one interval done. That's brutal 800 meters. Five more of those. Good grief. That's two intervals. And I'm dying out there. Uh, I'm gonna have to slow down a bit. This is killing me. Five lap cool down. That was absolutely brutal. Um, I'm gonna be done inside the hour, no problem. But, uh, Oh, my body feels wrecked after that. My next planned session is at the gym, but I don't really want to go to the gym until early afternoon because it's just busy at lunchtime. So whether I do anything between now and then, over lunch, is really going to depend on how many calories Jen comes back from KFC with in a minute. And she's significantly behind. So unless she comes back with just like buckets and buckets of food, I, I might better just go home and and literally sleep and then go to the gym this afternoon and pick it back up again there. Again, I don't need to hit 10,000 calories. I just need to beat her. That's not a bucket. It's over a thousand calories. It's 405 or 425 per burger and I got two. And then I think it's 400 for the fries. So how many in total? About 1,200 if I eat it all. It's a little burger. You're going to be so ill. Jen ate her KFC, 1,280 calories, gives her 2,872 total. My plan now is to go and burn exactly 200 calories on the ski erg, I then have a sleep, I then have something to eat, maybe the other way around, and then hit the gym. Okay, I'm at the gym. Things are not going to plan at all. The idea was lunch, a nap, and then be here at 1 p.m. working out. I overslept. In fact, I only woke up because I heard Jen come back in the house from town where she'd been to buy cookies and donuts. So I'm now running massively behind, uh, and she's at home with thousands of calories of sweetie goodness. So I've cycled here to make up some extra. I don't know how far behind I am, but I now need to absolutely smash it in here. Done and on the way home. Okay. Cycling home from the gym, had to pause because my, uh, 
my legs were cramping, so I'm just giving them a moment's rest. Gym went brilliantly. I got there really tired. I thought I was going to have a rubbish session, but it was absolutely superb. Brand new gym for me. First time I've worked out there properly. I did uh, first hour a sort of mini car high rocks circuit, did 350 meters of track, then some sled push back on the track, then some farmer's carry back on the track, and then finished off with burpee broad jumps. First hour done, 1,002, which is smashing it. But I need to be smashing it because Jen keeps sending me pictures of the food she's eating. Five minutes rest in the second hour. I started off with, I start off with hex bar deadlifts, uh, superseted into some more fatigued running. Did that for about half an hour. And then I did about 15, 20 minutes, I think, of walking lunges with some uh, some easy press-ups uh, just to kind of spread the pain around the body. I am probably in peak calorie burning condition right now. Uh, if you saw my recent video, I'm in a bit of a dip in terms of performance, but really all that means is that my aerobic capacity underlying is still good. So I can, I can go and go and go, and I'm a bit too heavy, which just means I burn even more calories than normal. I'm kind of like an overweighted truck with a good engine. Um, as long as my axle doesn't snap, I'm going to rattle through some gas. Right, just walked in the door from the bike ride home, and exactly what I thought would happen has happened. Jen has started to fall apart. How many cookies have you eaten? None yet. None. But I'm going to get there. Zero. How many of you donuts? Just one donut. So you've eaten one donut. I was crushing it in the gym. Just calories were just like. Calories. Why are you eating crisp if you got... Because I needed something savoury. You sure you ate it, Lincoln? Yeah. Do you eat a donut? <laughs> you were shaking his head. Nixon, are you eating any donuts? So you've eaten one of these. My main concern now is not eating those two donuts um, and feeling ill and then not being able to exercise. So I just need to avoid those donuts. Too little, too late. So literally a walk in the park, uh, me and Lincoln are going to do an hour weighted vest, me not him, Jen's never going to catch me, so I could just leave it, but come on, never underestimate your enemy or your wife. The beauty of walking is you can just do so much else while you're doing it. I've answered a couple of emails and uh, had a sandwich, in fact it's interesting because we walk every day walking the dogs. Good 45 minutes, sometimes an hour. Very interesting how many calories that burnt. Because even if it's only an extra few hundred, it's a couple of thousand a week. So if all you do is walk, if all you can do is walk, don't think, you are, don't think you're not achieving much. Absolutely are. It is getting heavier. Uh, also getting text from Jen every now and again with her trying to lure me into eating the donuts. Right, we're not far from home. We're at 56 minutes. That will do. Let's see what we got. 4.15. And bearing in mind, I'm burning about 100. Just, uh, just ticking over. So I could have stayed home and burnt 100. So I burnt 300 calories. 300 extra calories. That'll do. Hang on, you've eaten two more packets of crisps, but no donuts or cookies. What? Because I was in a savoury mood. So I've just got in from the dog walk. I uh, haven't changed yet. And Jen is apparently very confused about how this challenge works. I'm assuming you've added the pasta calories on to the, and the, cookies. To the other food you haven't eaten. So when you say, I'm, gonna... I'm on this number, you know, I could sit here and say I'm on 12,000 calories because I haven't yet done whatever, a section of the Tour de France that I might just do in a minute. Yeah, about 3,000 to go. But you've got 3,000 to go plus the food you've not yet eaten that you're allowing for. So you're going to eat later, so after that, you're going to eat 3,000 calories and your donuts and your cookies. I, I can't see it. I, you should just throw in the towel. Quit while you're behind. 7 p.m. I'm going back to basics. I'm just going to go and run for about an hour and a half 
and try and get close to 1500 calories. I need to just get this done at this point. Uh, Jen's had, she started one of her cookies. She thinks by the time I run, she'll be eating her cookies and donut. Who knows? I am falling asleep sat here. Um, so I need to just get out and run. Okay, uh, one hour 10 on the run. I'm done running. It's like the rain and I can't feel my legs which seemed like a good reason to stop running. I'm gonna do 20 more minutes in the sauna to give me my 90 minute session. Oh, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. I was thinking the reason my legs hurt a bit is because I did that track session yesterday. Track session was this morning. My brain is losing all sense of sense. Update from Jen, she's eating the cookies. I'm not sure how she's not dead yet. Puts her over 6,000, I think. She's now starting on the donut. I can't believe how much that small human is eating. Okay, I'm done. Uh, just over, what, 13, just over 1300 calories for that session, which is fine. Come on, seven, six, two, one, seven, six, two, one. I might stay in here a bit. Expected calorie burn for the day is creeping up towards 8,000. That is my total calorie burn, plus what Garmin thinks I will burn between now and midnight. Once it hits 8,000, I'm out of here, I'm onto Zwift. Well, I'm having a precision fuel gel, uh, and actually, I came up the stairs, wasn't sure if I'd make it, I'm springing back into life. Mm. I'm gonna need another one of these. Okay, out to Zwift. Uh, it was just too tempting, couldn't resist. Um, also, Jen has just been up, she finished off her donut, so she is rattling through the calories. I don't know. I don't know, I know I'm dying. This is gonna work. I had to get off and stretch my legs because they keep cramping, but I've got half an hour, almost at 500 calories. So 500 calories per half an hour. I should be done by about 11 p.m. Um, as long as my legs stop cramping. Okay, let's go. It is gonna be probably the slowest out the Zwift climb ever. Might be quicker to walk up this thing, but it is getting the job done. I'm coming up close to the hour now and it's gone through 800 calories. So I'm gonna be around a thousand an hour Mark, um, I am dying slightly. Uh, so that's all going to plan. Meanwhile, Jen has joined me. She's brought her snacks up to eat them like a, like a lurking vulture that enjoys pot noodles. No, what? What, are you, what are you eating? What are you eating? A uh, king size katsu kobe with pot noodles. King size katsu curry flavor pot noodle. That's the second one, yes? And she's then got chili Doritos. I have no idea what that puts her on, but it is not gonna be a million miles behind me. So I need to keep pedaling and stay on the bike. Thousand, I gotta stop. I gotta stop for a bit, because my legs keep cramping, but I've got a thousand. How are you doing? I think I was optimistic. Have you eaten the second packet yet? I gotta get on. Okay, update Jen. Jen might be done. Um, are you done? I don't see any point in even opening the other packet, Chris. So you've eaten the other packet? So I've eaten one packet and it brings my tail to 8,475. 8,475. And you are definitely done. 8,475 for a, for a gen-sized human is, um, it's probably the equivalent of me in the 30,000. I might literally collapse if I pedal anymore. Well, given me and I'm done. I'm done. That's a huge amount of calories. What, 8,000? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm not sure I can get off the bike. Total done, 8,736. And it is, what time? 
half past ten. Hour and a half. Half kilometers to go. 500 meters. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 100 meters. I got up the Alp, as Goggin says, don't quit when you're tired, quit when you're done. And did you burn 10,000 calories? No, Goggin says nothing to say on calories. <laughs> Stay hard! 9,538, with a projected finish at midnight in 45 minutes of 9,605. 395 short. Well, close to Well, we are going to rectify that. It's 11.32.3 and I have failed to hit 10,000 calories. Jenna's failed to eat 10,000 calories, but if Jen were to eat this pot noodle and this donut and a half, she'd easily hit 10,000 calories. One of us will pass this challenge today and it will be Jen with my assistance. Couple's goals. Mmm, that's so good. That is so good. Hey, well done. Jen's Garmin body battery, uh, stress levels, heart rate variability and stuff like that. Died. Worse than mine. <laughs> Just from eating, the shock of eating so much. It's not good for you. Don't try this at home. I could have done a few of those. I love you. Wow. So what did we learn? Well, that one person will burn calories at a vastly different rate to another, and in a similar way, one person might be comfortable consuming calories in a way that somebody else is not. So when reading or hearing about what someone does online to look or perform a certain way, don't necessarily pay too much attention to the specifics that work for them because they may not be appropriate for you. Also, we learned that katsu curry pot noodles are amazing. And if you find yourself on a first date in a restaurant, always order dessert, see what size spoon they go for, can tell you a lot. Drop this video a like and subscribe, please. Then go check out the Patreon link in the description where you get the podcast in return. We can keep these videos free of sponsors and I don't need to try and sell you things. But if you really like to be sold things, donut time. Use the code, who the hell is Mark Lewis and why is he giving you a code? Wait there, I'll ask the manager. It's not a real code.